Devastation in Japan is making headlines around the world as the country recovers from the 8.9 magnitude earthquake that sent a tsunami crashing over the mainland. Some say it's a tragic disaster, but others are wondering, is the moon to blame? On March 19th, the moon's orbit will be 221,000 miles from Earth, the closest it's been in 19 years. It's called the supermoon, a term coined by Richard Noley for when the moon's orbit is nearest the Earth and the sun, moon, and Earth are all in alignment. That means the gravitational pulls of the moon and sun combine to cause higher tides. This kind of alignment only happens every 10 to 20 years. So when it does, KGTV says we notice. There is a precedent. The deadly tsunami in Indonesia happened two weeks before the 2005 supermoon, and Cyclone Tracy laid waste to Australia during the supermoon year of 1974. There were also extreme weather events in the supermoon years of 1955 and 1992. However, most astronomers say this is just coincidence. Talk of the supermoon began weeks before the earthquake hit Japan, and one AccuWeather blogger says he didn't believe it, but now, He's been convinced. I believe that the Earth may have already felt some of the supermoon's effects. It could be a huge coincidence that this earthquake was not influenced by the supermoon. But in my totally unscientific opinion, having no hard evidence to back it up, it doesn't seem like just coincidence to me. But a blogger for Discover says there's no way the moon caused the earthquake in Japan. When the earthquake in Japan hit, the moon was about 240,000 miles away. So not only was it not at its closest point, it was actually farther away than it usually is on average. The earthquake in Japan and other natural disasters likely to happen are terrible tragedies. We're not making it any better by panicking over something we know isn't real. Most astronomers say any gravitational effects typically happen within three days of the supermoon. But Noli tells ABC Australia the time span can be longer. We don't have to have one uh, at the maximum close approach to have a notable effect. For example, the February 18 supermoon just passed. Uh, that one was in effect for uh, various reasons from the 12th of February through the 21st. And uh, of course, we had the, the awful uh, Christchurch earthquake on the 21st in universal time, 22nd down there. A TG Daily blogger still doesn't buy into the moon phenomenon and says the special supermoon alignment will only make for a great photo. Indeed, because it's a full moon, the sun and moon are actually pulling on the earth from opposite directions, weakening rather than strengthening tides. So just sit back and appreciate the view. I'm Alex Holly for Newsy.com, multiple sources, the real story.